there was a caucus of women. They wanted equal, equal hiring for men and women, which hadn't happened. But somehow or other, I got up and I said that I thought it was really important that people just be hired for their ability, not for their gender. At which point, I got booed down by this caucus of women, and then I sort of was extremely embarrassed, and at that point, I probably became a feminist. <laughs> The demonstrators met little resistance as they streamed through the main doors of the department store. On November 14, 1983, we went to Lytton Systems Canada in Rexdale to videotape a Women's Day of Resistance. The show of solidarity for striking Eaton's workers was part of a mass march and rally, wrapping up a week of activities by the women's movement. <laughs> So Invisible Colors was an international film and video festival for women of color and pregnant women. And we were thinking, oh, we'll just show 15 works. And before we knew it, it had become a full-blown international global scale event in which we raised almost half a million dollars. Synergy was not a ghetto. Synergy was a place for women to be together. I know that some of the earliest films that we made in Studio G were about our foremothers who were written out of history. Well, this is 603 Powell Street, where Press Gang had its happy home for many, many years. It's um, totally not to code. Uh, it's amazing that the fire department didn't close us down um, because we had heavy equipment. We had printing presses, we had bindery equipment. And across the street and no longer there was the Drake Hotel, which was one of the famous strip clubs of um, Vancouver and I, I always thought we should have had a sign that said women, women, women because they more or less had a sign that said girls, girls, girls. Uh. Argument about ending Studio D was very much that women were mainstream now and didn't need a separate place. an English teacher who just really rocked my world at that time. She talked about the Montreal Massacre and it happened in 89, which is the year that I was born. Like just imagine being in school and you can't be in school because you're a woman. And I know in that moment, there was always a target on women's backs. It didn't matter if it was because we were trying to educate ourselves or trying to protect our, our rights. I think that young women are just as powerful and just as much want to make the change. You know, we didn't have words. We didn't have the language, like intersectional. What sometimes what I feel is that young women or young people do not realize that we are their history. 